Hey guys, today I have a new lug video and it is on the new lug pirouette. So if you want to see a review and what all it can hold and different ways that you can wear it on the body, then just keep watching. So I purchased this in the gunmetal and the pearl gray. So this is a new color blocking bag that they have. They have a couple of new features on this. I'm not sure how I feel about one of those, but we will go over that in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do with this bag is I'm going to just show you some of the features that it has, what it can hold and how it wears on the body. So first off, this is the new lug pirouette in the gunmetal gray and the pearl gray. So this is a really nice color blocking. So you can see the pearl gray on the front and then the gunmetal and then the back is a complete gunmetal as well. So it has this really pretty basket weave on the front. And new on this bag is this medallion. And this medallion says live life in color and it's in cursive along with the new lug logo that is in cursive down here as well. So I do like this cursive lug logo. I really do like that. I hope that they are gonna be showing that on some of their newer bags as well. But the medallion, I could do without. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be a feature that's gonna be on all the newer bags as well, but this one is the first bag that I have seen it on. And like I said, I could do without that medallion. And it does say live life in color, which is kind of their phrase that they use a lot. But I do really like this lug cursive here at the bottom. It does have this really pretty basket weave in the front and you can wear this three different ways. So you can wear this as a short strap over your shoulder. You can also wear this as a crossbody, and then you can also wear this as a a belt bag. So it has a really nice slim profile. So this is packed up as full as I could pack this. As you can see on the bottom right here, it is a very slim bag. This is a bag that's not going to hold a lot, but it will hold your necessities. And I'll just show you what I have in this bag so you can see some of the things that it can hold. But as far as wearing this as a belt bag, I did want to compare this for you to the coupe. So here's the coupe, which is my favorite belt bag that I have. And so as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in size. So you can see, I'll put this to the end. Front wise, this is at the bottom and to the end over here. So you can see that much of a difference on the side and then how much taller it is. So there's quite a bit of difference in size with the coupe and the pirouette. Also, I wanted to show you the roundabout. So this is the first edition roundabout. It's not the second, so I'm not really sure what the difference in size are with those two. But as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the roundabout as well. So these are my two favorite belt bags. So I probably will not be using this as a belt bag, but later in the video, I will show you how it does look like on the body as a belt bag. So you can kind of see, and I'll give you my measurements so you can kind of see how it is on my frame. But this right here is a gorgeous bag. I absolutely love it. It was so hard for me to decide between this color or the wine and the blush color that they have, which is also so gorgeous. But I really wanted to try the indigo and that copper because I don't have anything in copper and I do have a lot of grays. But I really just wanted to get this one because this one's a really elegant looking bag. So if you wanted to wear this as a shoulder bag, then this could be really good on a date night as a more elegant looking bag. I will mainly wear this crossbody to just throw my necessities in as I go out and just be hands free. Let's just go ahead and go inside the bag. So right here, it has a zipper. So it is a horizontal zipper in this gun metal. So it's gonna just zip across. It doesn't zip down or anything like that. And when then you open it up, I just have a few necessities in the front. So I just have a face mask and a notepad. And then I have a pen stuck down here in the bottom. There's no pen holder place or anything like that. But inside here has this chevron design. This is not one of my favorite linings in the grays. I do really like that botanical inside. So it's a pretty chevron color, but it's just really not my favorite lining. Inside, as you can see, this has a built-in wallet. So it has the little slit pocket right here for your bills. And then it has six different slots for credit cards in here. So that's basically the inside of this front zipper pocket. You do have your built-in wallet. So if you don't wanna put a wallet in here, which I have a wallet inside, and I will show you which one fits in here really nicely. But if you do wanna utilize that wallet, you do have this slit pocket for bills and six credit card slots in there. So that's the front of this. Then right behind that, you're gonna have that snap clip closure, felt lined cell phone area right behind that. So it's going to be felt lined and it does hold your cell phone in there so horizontally. So let's just go ahead and go to this top zipper area. So it does zip around just a little bit on the side. So it does allow it to open up a little bit better because it does come down to about right here on each side. So you can see a little bit more when you open it up. So when you open it, you can kind of see everything that's in there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get everything that I have in here, but I do wanna show you how it looked when it was completely packed up. And then when you see the videos of how it looks on the body, it's completely packed up as well. But inside, it does have two cargo pockets. So I just have face wipes for my kids in one of the cargo pockets and then a hand sanitizer in another one of the cargo pockets. 
And then I do have the small splits wallet in here. So that does fit really nicely standing up in there. And then I just put some dry shampoo in there and some hand lotion in there. And that was all that was in this main compartment. That kind of filled it up with just those things right there in this main area. There was a little bit of room for a little bit more, but that was about it. So I'm not sure about the larger wallets. I do have a larger wallet that I did not put in here because I was not able to put much much else in there, but this fit really nicely in there with a few of the other essentials that you might have. And so, as you can see, it has these two cargo pockets right here. And then above the cargo pocket, it does have a privacy zipper area right here, which I have emptied, but you can see that it does go down to the bottom of the bag. So that's nice to have that privacy zipper, two cargo pockets, and then you turn it around and then it has your zipper plastic area, the whole width of the bag, and it does go down to the bottom of the bag. So all I have in there are two lip products and then a pressed powder that I carry throughout the day. So that was what I had in that plastic area. So as you can see, that's what it looks like, completely empty. There's no key leash in here for you or anything like that, any key clip, but the interior does have two cargo pockets, a privacy zipper area, and the plastic see-through zipper area as well. Then as you can see on the back here, it does have the belt loops, so you can use this as a belt bag as well. So that is all that this pirouette has. So as you can see, it's not something to just fit everything that you need for a whole day out. So it will fit your essentials. So let's just go ahead and see how it wears on the body. Okay guys, this is how it looks like on the body. So I have it exactly where I like it when I wear it crossbody. And you can see there's about this much more length that, the, that you can lengthen it. And I think it fits really nice against the hips. So I'm 5'5 five, five for reference and I'm usually a size medium, size six in pants. So if that tells you anything about the size reference. I think it's a really good slim profile. I do really like how it fits up against the hip and lays. I think it's really comfortable. Love the length of it. So I'll just go ahead and lengthen it as long as it will get. So you can see that it will go down a significant amount. So let's just go ahead and look at how it is as short as it gets as well. And this is a really easy slide. This slide's really easy. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. And here it is as short as it gets to wear it over the shoulder. And then there is also one other way that you can wear it, which is belt style, which I'll show you in just a moment as well. All right, guys, so here's how it is, as short as it'll get. So you can see the front view, and then here's the side view. So it's a really good area where I can just rest my elbow on it if I want to. It doesn't feel like it's gonna drop off my shoulders at any time, so it does fit really nice on the shoulders as well. And another way that you can wear this is belt style, and I'm gonna show you how it looks belt style. So here's how it looks as a belt bag. So it does have the back loop, so you can adjust it and make it a belt bag. To me, I think it's a little bit too big for a belt bag. I won't be using it as a belt bag, but I did wanna show it to you this way so you can see the size reference. Again, I'm 5'5 five five and a size medium, so this is how it looks on my frame. It doesn't feel real comfortable as a belt bag. The coupe is just such a comfortable belt bag, but this one kind of feels a little bit heavy. And I just, I just don't like the way that it looks, but I did want to show you the way it looks as a belt bag because that is a way that you can wear it as well. So somebody mentioned on Facebook about possibly wearing this as a sling bag as well. So I just wanted to show you how this could look like if you just put it around your neck and just had it hanging like this, which is really accessible if you want to just like get into it. It's really accessible for that, but this would be the way that it would look if you wanted to wear it like that. I think it's a little bit big for me to wear it this way as well, but this is how it looks like if you wanted to wear it as a sling bag. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this video on the lug pirouette and my final thoughts are I really do love this basket weave in the front. I do love the color blocking details that it has. I'm not so sure about this medallion if it's something that I'm really going to like if they put that on all the future bags but I do like how they have this cursive lug logo down here at the bottom. So I also love this slim profile when you wear it crossbody. I will probably never wear it as a belt bag but it's nice to have that option for the belt bag but I just think it's a little bit too big for me to carry. And I also compared it with that roundabout so you can see the size difference. And also with the coupes, you can kind of see the size difference with that as well. So these look a lot better to me as a belt bag, but this can also be worn as a shoulder bag also. So you can have it as a little elegant look as well. So this does come in some prints and some solid colors as well, if you wanna take a look at that. But I just love the elegant, classy look of the pearl gray and the gun metal. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that and I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel in addition to lug videos I also do videos on fashion beauty and lifestyle so I'd love to have you subscribe I hope to see you in my next video and until then I hope you have a wonderful day